Are there any issues? Um, is there a stigma towards the refugees? Are they having in any way difficulty just assimilating into their neighborhoods or you know into into society here? Every neighborhood that we have somebody in, they have been uh, very welcoming. Mm-hmm. We haven't we haven't had any problems that I can readily think of. Uh, I think in some of the high schoolers experienced a little resistance in the very beginning, but they've overcome that, and you know they're doing very well now. Yeah, I don't think there's a big enough community here. If if there were, uh, you know, others of their countrymen or or from other countries that had aught with Afghanistan. I think that might be a bigger problem, you know, some, right, some, of, the, right, right. some of the bigger cities. But I don't think we really experience that here. Yeah. Well, in our community, it's more of a, I, I don't want to say transient, but people are always coming, moving in, moving out. So there's, you know, for instance, looking at high school and high school kids, there's a lot more new high school kids than those that have gone mm-hmm. from ninth through 12th all together at the same time. So... I think that that's the difference in our community too, and because of that, Huntsville is more of a of a melting pot, so Correct. to speak, on a you know microcosm scale than it is very polarized with right. different ethnic groups. So yeah. yeah, but the the city overall has been you know wonderfully welcoming uh, to to everyone. Yeah, I don't know. And for that, we appreciate it. I don't know if you caught it. I before your episode, I interviewed Nadia Nyakasari from uh, RCP mm-hmm. Companies, who yep. they developed. Um, the uh, where the Orion is, the mid, you know, mid city, and she's Persian. Okay. And uh, I guess two years ago, Mayor Battle declared, I think it's April 21st, like Persian Day, in honor of you know, no ruse, the you know, kind of their um, new year type thing. So that was okay. pretty cool. So I yeah. guess the Persian community is is growing, you know, and hopefully they can they can find things like that, right? So culturally, you know, find people to share their culture. Oh yeah, yeah, and they're they're all involved in in the mosque that's up yeah. off Sparkman, and they've been uh, they've been helpful as well. So yeah, culturally, I think that you know they're not on an island, so to speak, though they don't have as much as they would in other places. Yeah, um, and in some ways that might be that might be good because I want them to maintain their faith, you know, mm-hmm. but I also want them to come into the into the 21st century and, and a good, again, learn how to be good citizens here. Uh, and that's one of the things that I worried about the most when they were coming. I didn't want people to look at them, you know, in a, in a bad light. Yeah. Because unless you've been directly involved uh, with things in that country or in that region, you're not going to understand the same. So we have a lot of discussions about that. And at least the, the men you know, they were able to put that out to the families. We'd have talks because they've spent their whole adult lives around Americans. So they did, to a certain extent, uh, understand American culture and, and how we are. So there wasn't that huge learning curve for them. Like I said before, the children, they adapt quick. Yeah. 